Mike Wells at Indianapolis Star with my man Bob Kravitz in his best sports coat of the entire play golf. He left the Tommy Bahama shirts back at home. What did you think this was going to be the last home playoff game for the Indiana Pacers? No, I did not. I just, they were dirty. They needed to go to dry cleaning. It's as simple as that. I thought you might have left it in the Holiday Inn in Philadelphia on Saturday night. But Pacers with a very impressive 99-92 victory. Keeping their playoff holes alive because, quite honestly, I felt like they did a loss tonight. This would, have been, this would have been the last home playoff game at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. They wouldn't have played a game six. Miami would have wrapped it up on Thursday, but you got to give them credit the way they bounced back after LeBron dictated things in game three. Uh, I mean, it was just a tough-minded effort, and you could you could tell early on, you know, they got out to the 11-0 start. I mean, look, ultimately they out-rebounded them 49-30. to They beat them in the points in the paint 52-30, to I think it was. Uh, Roy Hibbert, man, how far has this guy come? I mean, early in the season, we thought this guy was a bum offensively. He could not, he could not hit from right here. You give him much credit. I didn't say a bum. I just felt like he was stealing money from the Pacers. That fifty, what is that? Fifty plus million, million yeah. fifty-eight million dollars they're giving him because he was just playing on one end of the court. But right now, as one of earning the, his cash, he is earning his cash. One of the Heat analysts on his way out said, "Imagine how much better Roy will be in two or three years. Absolutely. He will be giving Dwight Howard, Marc Gasol." Uh, who's that other guy in Philadelphia that's, no. rock, that's stealing money? Andrew Bynum, Andrew Bynum. Bynum for the running. He, he'll be one of the best centers in the NBA. Give Roy credit. And Lance I Stevenson. Call, I call him the Tasmanian Devil. Yeah, the I mean, Cyclones. You, you got to take the good and the bad with Lance, and you saw a lot of good out of Lance. So many times he came down court and he had his jaw locked like he was at Rucker Park and he was going to get to the basket. But the funniest part was in the second half, LeBron James is on the perimeter, <laughs> and Lance is begging him. Begging him to shoot the jump shot. He was yelling at him, make it, make it, make it. And of course, being LeBron, being LeBron, was like, screw it, I'm going to take it to the rim. And he threw, and up, he some, he, he threw up some stuff. So I feel like that's the first time Lance got into LeBron's head. Absolutely. There's no question about it. Lance, look, Lance is a barometer for this team. And you remember what Lance did in game six against the Knicks? He was probably their best player. So he's the X factor, he's the wild card. When he plays well, the Pacers play well. We're down to a best of three series. Do you feel like the Pacers can get a game in Miami? Yes. Yes, I do. But I'm still picking Miami and six. Miami and six? I'm still picking Miami. So and how, six. how do you pick them to win a game in Miami? No, I'm not it, picking them. I'm just saying it's possible. It's once, also possible don't, don't, I could lose 30 pounds. Once, yeah, no, that's, but unlikely. That's, that, that's impossible. But unlikely. Impossible. But we'll be with you Thursday afternoon after shoot around. Bob will have his golf hat on. Pale as can be outside of American Airlines Arena. I'm Mike Wells. This is the little guy, Bob Kravitz.